Hello, hello, good afternoon. I hope you're all well and having a good week and not and stay cool and healthy in this uh, hot weather. I wanted to come on today and just do a very quick live uh, about how to stay healthy in this heat. Uh, just a couple of tips that have been helping me to stay cool and to stay healthy. I have had uh, a few questions about this. I think mainly because I'm pregnant and it's much hard, arguably much harder uh, for us pregnant ladies to cope in this heat. And uh, that inspired me to come on and share of, you know, some of these tips with you as well. If you are uh, tuning in now, then uh, please don't be a stranger and say hello. And if you're watching this later, then please comment hashtag replay. Thank you. As I go through these tips and things that have helped me, please feel free to jump in and share anything that has helped you and that I haven't mentioned. Uh, as I always say, sharing is caring. <laughs> So let's spread any, any tips, any, any advice that has worked for you that might, might help someone else as well. So uh, tip number one is uh, a no brainer and that is to drink plenty, plenty of, of water. I drink mine from uh, an hour, like one litre glass and I probably have uh, about four of those uh, a day, about four litres a day. So as a, as a general rule, how much water should you be drinking? I normally say um, for my European friends that work in kilos, you take your weight in kilos and you multiply that by 0 0.033. And that will give you approximately how many liters you should be drinking a day. And if you work your weight in pounds, then take half of that weight in pounds and that's how many ounces of water you should be drinking so for example if you weigh 200 pounds then you should be drinking a minimum of 100 ounces of water a day and that of course varies with the you know how uh, how hot it is and how much physical activity you're doing and things like that just be be sensible <laughs> Uh, I think NHS guidelines say six to eight glasses of water a day. Uh, so a couple of tips that might help uh, with drinking more water if you're someone that doesn't naturally drink a lot. And some things that have helped me is, especially uh, at the beginning, I would say is that build up to drinking more water. If you drink quite little at the beginning, then it's gonna be probably quite hard for you to get up to four liters a day like I do. So just do it gradually. And we don't wanna overload our kidneys in the process as well, right? Habit stacking always helps. So if you combine drinking water together with a habit that you already do, as a general rule of thumb, you know, first thing you do when you get up, before you boil the kettle and have your first cup of coffee, whatever you do, have a glass of water first. Um, it's good to have a glass of water before meal times. That's something that can help suppress your appetite, uh, speed up your metabolism. So it's always a good tip for those who are maintaining their weight loss or trying to lose weight. Um, uh, what else? Um, if you don't like just plain water, you can flavor it, you know, you can add some fresh mint to it, um, you can, uh, what tells these days, you can buy some cold teas from supermarkets, so you can actually put tea bags in cold water, and you can have nice infused water, so kind of play around with it, you know, until you find something that that works for you if you just don't like the taste of, of just plain simple water um, you could try and make a homemade lemonade uh, for example take some sparkling water put in some fresh lemon juice and maybe a little bit of natural uh, sweetener like stevia and that can be quite a nice uh, refreshing drink and and things like that uh, something else, um, I'm just thinking out loud, uh, that has worked well for some of my clients, 
and it's a, a tip that I got from my Canadian friend Tracy actually is that if you have a water bottle or a glass what you can do is actually you can put some rubber bands around it so let's say if you aim to drink six to eight glasses a day or if you've got like a 500 milliliter or 750 bottle and you want to have a couple of refills of that a day instead of keeping counting then add some rubber bands around the other bottom unfortunately i can't show you at the moment i haven't got one to show you and every time you drink that glass of water or finish that bottle of water you remove one band and this way you don't need to keep counting how much you have had during the day but it also gives you kind of a sense of accomplishment and when you see that you only have two or three uh, rubber bands left uh, most people find it quite motivating uh, to you know to finish them up and get to their daily uh, hydration goal so that's something you may wish to try as well so drinking more water basically never gets old and it's something that we all need to do and i find when it comes to not only healthy lifestyle but also weight loss it's the one thing that's completely overlooked, undervalued, underestimated. People will um, look very carefully what they're eating. They will buy food supplements that are good for them. They will go and do exercise, but they neglect the first and arguably the most simple thing that all of us can do is simply drink more water. That should be the foundation of everything. You know, our bodies are mainly made of water, 75% uh, or so, some organs much more. So if something is going to make a big difference to your health and well-being, trust me, drinking more absolutely will. And one last thing to mention here, in case you are one of those people, like my dear husband, that thinks that he drinks plenty of water because he just has endless, countless cups of tea a day. Let me remind you that caffeine is quite dehydrating. And for every cup of coffee you have or cup of tea, you should probably be drinking, you know, at least a glass of water because it actually has the opposite effect. It draws the water out from our cells instead of hydrating us for those who who didn't know that so that's tip number one tip number two something that has helped me and uh, those who follow me know that i'm a big fan of essential oils for emotional support and in this heat it's uh, peppermint oil i find it very uh, refreshing i really like the smell of it I find it quite energizing. It helps me to uh, wake up in the mornings. It, it's a good pick me up in the afternoons when you get that uh, two or three o'clock slump. Um, I put it on my wrists. I mix it with the almond oil and I put it on my, uh, on my baby belly. And yeah, I find it very refreshing for just a little pick me up and a little energy boost. So if you are into essential oils, that's something you may wish to uh, try out. Then tip number three, that has been a, a lifesaver, is these cool pads that I got from Amazon a couple of years ago. I have a pack of two, um, so they open up. And I got them from Amazon and a pack of two was about nine, nine pounds, nine ninety nine, something like that. They are called uh, cool pillow pads. And so what I do with them is I put them in the freezer and that's where I keep them. And then in the evenings, I will take one of them out. I personally hardly ever put them on my pillow. I tend to uh, wrap them up in a tea towel and just put it on my on my chest 
used to put it on my belly, <laughs> but not anymore. Uh, some people put it on their legs, you know, wh wherever feels comfortable, really. Sometimes I put it um, on my neck and it just really cools you down. And by the time it defrosts, if I need another one, then I will put this one back in the freezer and I would get the second one out and basically keep the rotation going for as, as long as I need. So I think it's a very uh, effective uh, and cost effective option for those who are looking for, perhaps for some simple solutions. So uh, check out Amazon and Pillow Cool Pads. Then the next thing that has helped me is uh, movement. Uh, those who have been uh, looking at my stories know that I have been uh, going for my daily walks and trying to hit at least the 10,000 step mark every day. And uh, I normally do that first thing in the morning because um, obviously I don't want to be out in this scorching heat <laughs> or I do it late, late in the evenings, whatever works for you. And what I find is that just keep keeping up the movement or doing, you know, some stretching exercises. I have been doing uh, pregnancy yoga, a lot of kind of pregnancy pilates and yoga and stretches and obviously do that in an air conditioned room or a cool room. What I have found is that it just keeps the circulation going and you do feel better for it. Because if you just sit around you know, in your home or by your desk all day, especially me uh, being you know, in the late stages of my pregnancy, I find that everything just swells up and I get cankles and I just feel sluggish and lethargic and I don't wanna do anything. Whereas if I have moved, uh, I don't have any swelling, I don't have any pain, and I just feel more energetic for it. So, um, you know, you've got to move to kind of gain energy, and I find the more you sit, the, the less energy you have in the end. And then the last one, but not least important one, is ice cream. <laughs> it does help in this heat, doesn't it? Uh, so a couple of things on ice cream. I don't think personally that ice cream is uh, the worst thing you can have. Uh, when you look at um, the number of calories desserts and puddings have, I find that ice creams probably normally have a bit less uh, than, you know, like a piece of cake. And what I normally do when I get some ice cream, and I'll give you a couple of options here, if I'm just looking for an ice cream in the supermarket, um, if worse comes to worse, I try to aim for about uh, 200 calories per ice cream. And uh, why 200 calories? Um, because between 100 and 200 calories, it's like having a snack. Uh, so it's not like an entire meal. Uh, in comparison that, you know, if you have a piece of cake, that's let's say four or five, uh, or seven, 700 calories a slice. So I try to aim for about 200 calories. And uh, what I have been doing is instead of having a late afternoon snack and then having dinner, I have been having my dinners a little bit earlier, which I find also helps in this heat because I don't wanna be uh, going to bed and trying to sleep for not long after I've eaten a dinner and it's all digesting and just producing extra heat. And then later in the evening, I would have an ice cream. So that ice cream has kind of replaced my late afternoon snack, if you see what I'm saying. Then the second thing what I would often do is opt for healthier options of ice creams. And my uh, most so favorite ones are probably two uh, from Sainsbury's and Tesco's. I get uh, Greek yogurt ice cream and it has um, this um, uh, raspberry or blueberry jam in the middle. And that is only 80 calories an ice cream. So not very much. Or I'm also a big fan of K 
heffy frozen yogurt. Um, yeah, Wally, uh, Wally, I think have got them, and that's uh, uh, again Tesco, Sainsbury's, uh, Waitrose. And so they both, you know, have got uh, protein in it. They're both good for your gut health as well. So they are some healthy options. And then the most healthy option is to make your own. I must admit, I haven't done it this year, but I think I probably will because the summer is only starting. But I've made, made it a few times last year. So in a pound shop, Home Bargains or Amazon, um, wherever you shop, you can get something like this. And basically you would fill these with your with your ice cream then you would put this on top and then the idea is when you pull it out then obviously that's your that's your stick turn it around and then you then you've got your ice cream you, you get the idea and for these basically what you do is simply uh, uh put in blender some fresh some fresh fruit um i believe you have to use banana as the base uh, because the banana, the bananas uh, kind of uh, uh, mushiness uh, will give will give it a good texture. So what I normally do is I either just buy some frozen fruit, um, or I freeze some. So normally, actually, what I used to do, I think it was a mixture of two. I would put some bananas into the freezer first. And then I would have a couple of bags of like mixed berries or, or, or mixed fruits that I like. I just basically blend it all up, add, you know, a little bit of water if I need to, or a little bit of milk if I need to, a little bit of yogurt. You could make it gut healthy, uh, gut, uh, gut friendly, and maybe add a little bit of kefir or some probiotic yogurt, and then fill it up, you know, and leave it to freeze and then enjoy. Uh, the recipe for that is actually in my B Tribe Facebook group. So if you are not in my B Tribe Facebook group and you would like to be, then you can search for it on my page or put it, you know, in a search under Facebook groups and you'll find it. And, and I'll be happy to welcome you in my uh, healthy lifestyle and weight loss uh, free Facebook group. I think that is it for today. I hope that some of these tips have helped you. Please share in the comments if there's anything that has helped you but I haven't mentioned. Sharing is caring. Please give this video a heart if you have enjoyed it and there was something useful for you. I'd be even more thrilled if you wrote in the comments which tip uh, you're going to implement or what you found most useful uh, share it on your Facebook page tag friends that you think would benefit from it basically spread spread the love spread the healthy vibes and uh, yeah and I will be back um, talking about something uh, next week or so hopefully and uh, yes have a fantastic rest of the week Stay cool, stay healthy, and I will see you very soon. Bye for now. Be healthy, be happy, be you. Bye.